Good morning. It's Kelly with UltimateMotorcycling.com. This morning I've got the 2018 Aprilia Shiver 900 to ride to work on and come along. I'll give you my thoughts on this bike. I love the burbly sound of the Aprilia's engine. So for 2018, the Aprilia Shiver has had a growth spurt. It used to be a 750, it's now a 900, or 896cc to be exact. And this V-Twin is a ton of fun as a commuting bike. It's got lots of low and mid-range torque, which is really perfect for around town and freeway riding. So the Shiver has ride-by-wire technology, and that allows it to have engine mapping and automatic traction control. And we've got three riding modes to choose from, sport, touring, rain. For around town riding, I'm in the touring mode, that's the middle one. You still got the full 95 horsepower of the bike's engine, but the delivery is a little tamped down. And really that's what you want when you're dealing with traffic, and changing conditions, bumps, potholes, and the dips on streets and freeways. And touring mode is the most fun way to ride the bike, because you don't have to mind the engine. Now if conditions are slippery, it's raining, the streets are wet, or cold, or dirty, going to want to drop that down into the rain mode, which takes the horsepower down to about 70, and it also delivers it in a softer manner as well. You can change the riding mode on the fly, just close the throttle, and use the control on the left handlebar. Ah, now you can see the shift lights flashing on the dash there. The default is set for the best fuel economy, but they're programmable, so you can set them to trigger at whatever RPM you want. Okay, so I can quickly tell you that the one of the nice things about the Shiver, it's got plenty of power to easily accelerate without making any effort um, so that you can get yourself merged into a busy freeway. So for commuting purposes, the spike's terrific and it's not too much engine to manage. There's also two levels of traction control in addition to off. I use traction control too for around town commuting. It's the most intrusive of the two levels and I've been very happy with it. The suspension on the Shiver does a really pretty good job on the streets and at moderate speeds. It does a nice job. It's firm. It handles all the usual stuff you would expect on the streets and boulevards. On the freeway though, at full speed, I'm not as much of a fan of the suspension because I get bounced around a little bit more than I think I should. And while I'm not so happy with the suspension on the freeway, I will say the bike feels 100% stable, even at high speed. It has a somewhat relaxed wheelbase, 57.7 inches, brakes just under 26 degrees, so it's not that steep. There's really nothing nervous about the front end. So even though I may be getting bumped around a bit more than I like, the bike is still stable, and most importantly, it's predictable know what to expect. I may just get a bit of a rougher ride than I like. There is some adjustability on the suspension. Up front you have the KYD forks, in the back you have the socks and shock. Both are adjustable for spring preload and rebound damping. Shiver has Pirelli Angel ST tires. I haven't had any issues, but I've never felt like they weren't doing their job. I love the upright seating on this. I'm leaning forward just a little bit, enough to feel sporty, but not enough that I'm dumping weight on my wrists. The foot peg position is, is actually, it's sporty, but it's not too high. You're not tucked up, so it's not cramped. Even riders with longer legs, I think, would not find this uncomfortable. And it feels like you sit pretty pretty 
pretty high on this bike. The Shiver has dual 320 discs up front with radio mounted Brembo calipers. So that's some of the good stuff. Real nice stopping power. And there's nothing grabby at the front lever. Give it a good squeeze, you'll get some convincing brake. The rear brake is also effective for slower speed riding. It has good feel at the pedal. I'm happy with the brakes. And ABS comes stock. I can easily reach the handlebars and I will point out that the clutch and the front brake lever are both adjustable, which is very nice. The clutch is heavy. It's a heavy clutch on this bike. So if you're stuck in like stop and go traffic, you will you'll notice that for sure. Out on twisty roads with tight turns where your speed's gonna drop way down, I find that I need a gear and a half. First is not quite enough and second is too tall. So the gearing is not quite right to me down on the bottom. I will also say that sixth gear can feel like an overdrive. I've noticed myself on the freeway several times in fourth gear and I wouldn't have known by the sound of the, or the feel of the engine that I needed to bump up to a higher gear. One last thing I will say steering stop. The turning on this bike is compromised by the steering stop, which means you cannot make a tight, tight turn, and you really need to pay attention to that. Otherwise, you could drop the bike when you are expecting to turn really tight and you run into those steering stops. So you'll learn to make kind of a wide turn in a parking lot, that kind of thing. Okay, well, there you have it. It's the 2018 Aprilia Shiver 900. Thanks for coming along for the ride.